GuardPoint Pro is a sophisticated user-friendly security platform, which transforms your facility into a smart building. It is built around specialized modules, with each covering a specific branch of the security such as access control, alarm management, video monitoring parking management, guard tours, lift control, time attendance. All these modules provide centralized security control for all types of installations irrespective of their complexity. This video, about how to configure access cards and register user finger in GuardPoint Pro Access Control System. Without any ado, let's start the video. Open GuardPoint Pro application by clicking on its icon. The application provides a simple and powerful user interface screen where user will have all the access events. Basically as we discussed at the beginning, we will learn how to add a new user access card and register biometric in this video. To register the new user, go to all card holders by clicking on its icon from the main menu. The card holder wizard will open. To add a new user, click on new. A new form will open to add the details of the new card holder. Fill all the fields such as last name, first name, Serial number or employee number. Then validate the cardholder access by selecting date from and date up to. Then select the access level from defined access group. As you can see, I have selected access group as anytime, anywhere. It means this card will work as master access. To all areas. To continue, let's save the configuration which we have done till now. To do that, click on Save button. Once the user saves the cardholder details, the badge settings will enable. To add access card, click on Create New. The badge window will open. Then select Type as Vegan. Then click on Get from the card. A new wizard will open. Select the reader from the list where the user wants to show his new access card. Then click on the read button to identify the reader is reading the card or not. Check the LED on the selected reader must be start blinking. Once user shows his new access card, it will read the new access card cord as you can observe on the screen. To save this access to under the selected card holder, click on OK. Then click on Save. As you can see on the screen, one badge is added under New User. To save all the settings, click on the Save button. After the new card configure, we observe that on site we have Suprema Biometric Fingerprint Plus Access Card Reader Devices which is not reading this new configured card. You also might be facing the same issue. To resolve this kind of issue, click on Biometric Data. A new Suprema wizard will open to enroll a fingerprint. At the bottom of the screen, you will have a checkbox, as the card only. Click on the checkbox to bypass the biometric. Then click on Save. You might be thinking why we bypass fingerprint and why we don't enroll user biometric data. In the GordPoint Pro software, we have to create two separate users for fingerprint enrollment and access card registration, because one user can't have two different type of boshes. Let's close this wizard by clicking on the exit. Then close user wizard and go to the event management screen. It's time to test newly added card. Let me show the newly added card at the door. As you can see on the screen, it's showing access granted at IT server room. By the way, it's Suprema Reader. Now let's see how to enroll fingerprints for the same user. So let's go to Users, and then click on New. As I told that we need to have different users for access cards and fingerprint badges. So here I will add a new user with the same name, by adding some extra characters to avoid name conflict. Fill all the required details, then click on Save.
To add a new fingerprints badge, click on the Biometrics Data button. A new Supreme Wizard will open. Click on Enroll button. Place the first finger to be enrolled, only during the time the yellow light is blinking on the Suprema biometric reader. Once the first finger registered, then place the second finger to be enrolled. Once the user registered two fingers, the fingerprint data will receive at the server. Make sure to click on the Save button before the exit Supreme Wizard. Then click on Save to save all the configuration. Now the new user can be tested with his access card and fingerprints. Hope you learn how to assign access cards and enroll fingerprints in the GuardPoint Pro Access Control System. In the upcoming videos, we will see how to configure a new system for a GuardPoint Pro Access Control System. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. If you are looking for any kind of technical support for your systems, you can contact us at any time for technical support. We are here to support you for all your systems.